Hi, Al again on the case. Uh, today we're going to look at um, a shower that's uh, not performing properly. The, the hot water just isn't coming out of the shower. We have a, a power shower here. Um, it's this type that's inset in the wall. If you've got this type of shower, then um, and you've got a problem, we're going to have a look at this now. So if you've got the same type of taps, um, I'm going to take this to bits now and see what's wrong with it. Basically, it's fully pumped. Uh, it's pumped from the hot water tank. Uh, and uh, the cold comes to the tank as well, balanced. It goes through a pump that's under the floor and it's boosted and then it comes out of the shower there. But what's happening of late, the water is still red hot. I've been able to check it out the tap, but the shower's been getting cooler and cooler. So I'm going to take that this off now, the hot side, uh, and just see if we can find out what's going on. Right, guys, first thing we're going to do is this one is the, the balance control between the cold and hot. This is where our fault lies. So first thing we've got to do is get this, this off. So first thing we've got to get a little screwdriver um, behind here and just pop this off. Which, and once we've done that, we'll find a screw. So we'll do that first. I'll put the camera down in a second. Alrighty, so we have that pulled out now. Um, and inside there you'll see there is a screw in there, um, a posi screw. So I've got a posi driver here to get that off. Just put him in there and flick him off, undo him. And then the spout will just, this handle will just pull off. It's not quite off yet, so let's keep going. I may have to put the put the thing down just while I pull it with both hands, because it's a bit stiff. So I'll just put the camera down a second. So I have the handle off now. I've pulled it off of that spline there, as you can see. Okay, it just pulls off Went on the floor, but it needed two hands, so I didn't have two hands available. After that, you'll have this cover here to undo, and then we'll reveal our inner workings. Uh, this one is the temperature sensor that, that you set on it to, to limit the stop, uh, and I have set that to maximum, so I know that there's something wrong inside there. So next thing I'm going to do is put the camera down again and get these two items off those two items off now, we've been in our spout. So the next thing now we've got to do is get this off. So this means a spanner on this nut here to pull this body right out. So we've got to undo that part now. Once we've undone this bit, we will get water or anything lying in there will come out now. Um, so I'll just put a camera down there and get a spanner on there and we'll show you the next part. Okay, I've loosened that off with a spanner now. So we'll undo that nut there now and uh, pull that off. Put that one down on the floor, the others, and um, then we should have a body here that we should, should come out now. Once again, there we go, she's out. Well, okay, uh, as you can see, right old mess, something you shouldn't do um, is take that out uh, without turning the cold feed off as well. Silly me, forgetting about the cold feed obviously goes to that side as well. So by just turning the hot feed off, um, obviously that's the only side I took off. But once I unloaded the front there, um, of course it was uh, it was coming out through the cold feed on the other side. So obviously <laughs> simple studio mistake. Been a plumber for 40 odd years, I'm still making mistakes. Anyway, I've got the body out. I'm going to clear the mess up and then show you what we're going to do next. And uh, clean the camera, it's full of water. <laughs> Alrighty, dried up all the mess. <laughs> Bit of a mess that was, but there you go, that'd be a lesson to you. Turn off the cold feed, whatever you do, and the hot feed. <laughs> well, you're going to get what's just happened to me. Uh, okay, anyway, I've got the um, the valve out now, getting back to that. Um, there you can see our housing um, set in the wall, and I've took that out now. Uh, and here it is, and this is it here. Now, this should be a sensor on there for the thermostat, and it's broken. There's what the problem is, that should be attached to that. It's part of the thermostat that has to stop um, stop it getting too hot basically when you use the shower. Um, anyway, it's broke. Um, so I need a new part, complete new part with this on it. I've just checked on the net, it's about 80 pounds. 